Hello everyone. Wait a second. Sometimes my genius is it's almost frightening. In this video, we will be automating a water tap using an Arduino Pro Mini and an infrared sensor. We will be employing a solenoid valve to control the flow of water. All the support material will be provided in the description. So without further ado, let's get started. The bike stable property of this particular solenoid valve enables it to remember its state even after the power is cut off. This helps in keeping the power consumption to the very minimum. Using an elbow joint is the optimal method but since all the non-essential stores are closed, I repurposed a hose from my water heater. When the IR sensor detects an object in its vicinity, the solar node receives a positive pulse and opens. The valve continues to stay open for 2 seconds every time it is activated. It then receives a negative pulse when the sensor has stopped detecting the object and closes.
The arrow on the casing indicates the direction of flow of the fluid through the valve. It is highly recommended to use Teflon tapes in plumbing. I couldn't get my hands on one due to the pandemic. However, I haven't encountered any visible leaks yet, so I would say that the product is very well designed. It can be seen here that the water tap opens when the object is detected by the IR sensor and remains open for 2 seconds even after it displaces from the sensing zone. It is also seen that the tap stays open for as long as the object is in the sensor's vicinity. Although the latching of the solenoid valve is a very good feature that helps in decreasing the power consumption, it has one major drawback. Case 1. When the power to the solenoid is cut off while it is in its active state, the water tap will remain open for as long as the solenoid receives another negative pulse. Manual overriding of the main water outlet valve can stop the water from flowing through the tap. Case 2. When the power to the solenoid is cut off while in its inactive state, the water will never flow out of the tap until the solenoid receives another positive pulse. Manual overriding is not possible without some reconnections in the piping system or external excitation of the solenoid valve. Thank you for watching. Stay home and stay safe.